it's me, Claudia. Welcome back to my channel. For this video I make part of an amazing collaboration, Skyrim. Hosted by Crystal Fantasy. I will put the link of the final video in the description box below so that you can check all the amazing dolls that made part of this collaboration. I'm gonna use an hybrid doll that I buy in the internet. They are already prepared for customizing. So all the process of cleaning and cutting the hair, I didn't have to do it. It was easier for me. I just have to give her three layers of Mr. Super Clear, let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes as usual using my mask and with my watercolor pencils and pastels I start building the face. After the first layer of Mr. Super Clear Second layer of Mr. Super Clear after drying. Third layer. And after the face is done, I'm gonna seal my work with another layer of Mr. Super Clear. I'm gonna use these eyes that come with the doll and I'm gonna make the vinyl soft with my hot gun and put them back and it works now for the body it belongs to another doll I also buy him in the internet for customizing and now I'm giving him some scars I'm making uh, my character is an uh, OC character my own character is a wooden elf Now I'm using my pastels and watercolor pencils to give it more realism to the scars. And also a touch of black acryl paint. And I will seal everything with Mr. Super Clear. For the clothes, I'm going to use some leather ribbon and this embroidery line with gold color and I'm just going to attach to each other. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe please, it's really important and I'm sure you don't want to lose the next one because I have a big surprise for the next one. And in the inside of the jacket I will use this soft fabric like a skin imitation because they use everything that they can find in the florist they use the bones of the animals that they eat and that they kill and they use the skin and the wood so I'm trying to make the costume as more natural as possible I'm going to use also the same letter ribbon for belt this black embroidery then I'm going to sew it by hand and I will use this Bordeaux really light fabric. And with the same fabric I'm gonna make her a cape. I will stitch everything by hand. It's easier for me. And I attach some bone imitation and some stones to the belt and I'm gonna close it in the back side with a stone. I also give her health uh, ears, pointy ears. Now I'm going to use these Monster High shoes from that tire collection. 
and I will glue it in the end of the socks that I made for her and paint them with my black acryl paint. For the hair, I'm gonna recycle this one. This hair was from Gigi Grant. I love the color. So I'm gonna attach it directly to the head with hot glue. I don't have too much, so I have to be really smart. I try to fill the entire head. I'm gonna give her some horns. That's a new feature of wooden health in the game. I'm gonna apply some moss and leaves. With the shoes, I covered the sock that I made with the same soft fabric that imitate uh, skin from the animal. And I'm gonna finish him and give uh, the final details with pieces of wood and also with moss. Well then health are experts in hunting. For that I'm gonna draw a bow that I'm gonna build with a hot glue. And let it dry between the layers. When the glue is dried I will put an iron inside and I will cover him with more hot glue to give him more strength and then I'm gonna paint him. I give it some highlights and now I'm using my chrome powder to give it structure and to look like a piece of bone. When the paint is dried, I'm going to embellish it with the same ribbon leather and with bone imitations, moss, leaves, iron and all of the things that I can put my hand on that represent the wood and the style of life of uh, wooden elves. By the way, did you know there were cannibals? I didn't know that. Sorry that I'm out of focus. Now I'm giving her a poisoned bottle with uh, some glitters. They were experts in poisons is one of the ways that they can kill the enemies and I will attach the bottle to her belt for the arrows I'm gonna use the toothpick and some craft foam and I'll shape it in a pointy shape And I will make the bag for the arrows with the same uh, black leather ribbon and I will close it with the same uh, gold embroidery that I use for the jacket.
I paint the arrows with my brown acryl paint, let it dry. If you are interested, I will put the list of my material in the description box below, so you can check it out. For the point of the arrow, I'm gonna give him silver color to look like metal and for the end I'm gonna cut these feathers and I will glue it in the end of the arrow with super glue And I will finish everything with the gold. They look beautiful. I'm gonna glue the tooths that I made for her with a dry uh, clay and I will glue them in the jacket and in the belt. And to finish her, I will make the tattoo in her leg with the symbol of the Skyrim. First I draw it with my Faber-Castell watercolor pencil. And then I paint him with my acryl. And with this, she's finished. And I'll let you with the final photos from her. My wood health, my own character of the Skyrim game. And also with a photo of the dolls that make part of this collaboration. Don't forget to check the video of Crystal in the link below. Don't forget, I have a surprise for everyone in my next video.